uncomfortable like Four. seeing dangling men bits <laughs> roll over. Like it's so gross. <laughs> and I waited two years to get my mouth neutered because that's what you should do. So I had to deal with that in my face. <laughs> the other male I got, he was ten when I got him. Person that came off were those things. So oh it's like, nope, not my house. <laughs> And I'm not quite sure if I get another male, if I would get a... Yeah. Well, you get well, long you know, hair dogs. You can't yeah. Should, yeah. Um, the kitten, even the kitten rolls over on his back, and I'm like, those things need to come off. <laughs> <laughs> right there, and he's a big boy. Yeah. Yeah. But but unless there's a medical reason, well, really no, there really is no medical reason with the exception of like prostate infections and stuff like that. Which is why Grady got neutered at nine. Because then it couldn't expect it. <laughs> That kitten weighs seven and a half pounds. Really? And he's six months old. Oh. oh my gosh. Are you okay? See, you gotta keep walking. Six months old. Wow. So I got him in September and he was about eight weeks. Mm hmm. Yeah, six months. He's seven and a half. He's as big as, he's as tall as my nine year old cat. Big boy, and since I've, I've gone so long without it, I would have gotten either three months. But now that I've let it go, we're nice. so 20 minutes. I have to do all the time that cheeks of the now Well, he's a main coon. So, I only have a cat, so I can only imagine. I don't know. No, you can't. I would imagine. He was a stray that came in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. But, but he looks exactly like a main coon. Yeah. I have to brush him like every other day, and he hates it and he tries to come in. <laughs> but you guys named him Voodoo. <laughs> Cheryl named <is> Voodoo. <laughs> My friends who are adopted him named Voodoo. Yeah, he's got a home. He's got owners that want to adopt him, but his owners are in Louisiana. Louisiana. Uh -huh. And they're good friends of mine who worked here for years. So we worked together a long time ago here. And I can't say no to them because they're the sweetest people on earth. I'm like, oh, you guys. Daisy. Sharon's like, oh, you can bring the Girl Scout cookies and the cat. And I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Daisy, come on, girl. Come on. I'm totally going to pump Girl Scout cookies off of your client. That's fine. I bought from Barone's kids. I bought some for your, for me, too. Yeah. Hi. What are you doing? <laughs> Hi. No, I know, you can't one. stand there. Come on. Here's your hands. I'll feed it, too. I got two for each kid. Yeah, I get two for you. <laughs> we broke, in fact. <laughs> last, year, last year, she sold $1,300 oh, oh, my gosh. I worked at Banfield, and everybody ordered like 20 bucks. I was like, you guys don't need to, I know the boss, but you guys don't need to order 20 bucks. <laughs> Come on, Daisy. Come on. Oh, she Suzanne already put up her kid thing. I know. She's like, work here. I know, she's here once a day. Mine's Why don't you put it up in here? Let's see if any of our clients want. Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. That's for a good mm -hmm. cause. That's why, I mean, they're, they're, they charge you a fortune for like five cookies, but you know what? The money's going to a good thing. It's $4 a box. It's yeah. not bad. Put just like five cookies in it. And we got the good bakery. <laughs> Down south, they have an awful bakery. Oh, really? There's two different and bakeries. Else? So people that my friends down south are like, yo, can you hook me up? I'm like, yeah, you want big ten dollars shipping? The <laughs> quarter. Where's the other bakery? I don't know, but this one is the ABC Bakers, and they're the best one. See, everything's better down south. No, the one down south sucks. It's funny. I get off the plane and the southern accent. I sound like I've been that, down there that I never left. Yeah, I pick it up. They have everything. I had a client think I was lying 